Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. An absolute pleasure to have you here with us at Sundance London. Maybe for people who don't know anything about a love song, you can give us a brief introduction. Absolutely. So I wrote and directed the movie A Love Song, shot at my home in southwest Colorado. It's a movie about two former childhood sweethearts who come back together later in life for an evening by a lake in the mountains. And it's about loss and land and most importantly love and ways both expected and unexpected it can play a part in our lives. What it looks like when it's shared with someone, what it looks like when it isn't shared with someone, what it looks like as something both fulfilled but also something just that's a possibility. And I hope it's kind of gentle and cosmic and mystical and makes the world look a little prettier afterwards. It's kind of unique in its setting and also its story and the fact that it's kind of a love story between two older people. Um, perhaps in the ilk of Nomadland, you know, uh, we saw not so long ago. So <clears throat> what kind of um, appealed to you about setting in this very particular location and about these particular characters? The location is just my home, you know, that's where I grew up and that's where I live. So that's where I want to tell stories. I just find it really pretty, you know, I feel lucky that I can live in a place that every sunset still makes me want to take a picture of it on my stupid iPhone. Um, and they never come out the way you, you hope they will, but you, yeah, I just, I, I, just, I just love it and I'm moved by it and I want to give it a chance to be seen more gently in cinema than it's really been allowed the chance to so far. And to just pay tribute to all these kind and gentle people living tough lives, but lives that are more full of love and, and caring than, than they're probably given credit for. And tell us about your wonderful cast. Um with both wares, but in particular Dale Dickey. I mean, she's just so wonderful and fascinating and there's so much nuance um, that she brings to this character. So what was it, how did you cast them and how did you work with them? I wrote this movie for Dale Dickey. I had never met her, but I was just an admirer. From the moment I first saw her, I couldn't get her out of my head. I just saw her in these landscapes. She's, she's so distinct and brings such a presence and so much history and felt like someone I knew even when I didn't and was very lucky that she honored us by coming aboard and Wes Studi as well who's who's so iconic they're so iconic and they were able to to fill this the silence of the movie so much of which is quiet with with the past and with love and and they 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 gave such a gift to this movie I'm so grateful to them and grateful for having had the chance to work with them and what was the shoot like? I mean, I guess if you've grown up in this environment, maybe it doesn't seem harsh to you, but from the outside, it's just, I could expect it to be quite unforgiving, you know? Um, so, so were there any challenges or particular moments you loved in shooting the film? Shooting outside in the middle of nowhere, on film, with like a crew of eight and in a COVID bubble is, has its challenges, there's no doubt. I, I've come to believe that being forced to work with the rhythms of nature is a wonderful balm to the kind of aggressive capitalist traditions of the way a film set is supposed to operate and the pace with which it's expected to operate. I'll get frustrated in the moment, but at the end of the day to have to wait for a cloud to move, and when the cloud is gonna move, the cloud is gonna move, you know, that's a, that's a beautiful thing, and uh, there's always a payoff there. You know, you might not have sun in the scene you thought should have sun, but there will be a sunset that you could have never planned for that makes a scene so much beautiful than you would have ever known. That's like the deal you make with God, and it's the, de the deal is fair. And ultimately, what do you hope people take away from watching your film? Because like you've mentioned, it sort of makes you maybe slow down a bit and appreciate um, the small joys in life, and also that just because you get older doesn't mean you can't have these moments of connection with people and, and you know, and there can be love there. Um, so what do you hope people take away? I really just hope that people walk out of this movie and the world looks a little more textured and colorful to them. That's kind of the highest thing that art ever gives to me. So if anyone can feel that walking out of this film, I'd be very honored. And what does it mean to you to have your film, you know, at Sundance London? I'm so happy to be here at Sundance London, you know, the the full festival wound up being online. So this is my first chance to meet all these people who I admire and who have made my life better. And they did a great job putting it online, but it's, yeah, there's just nothing like feeling the molecules vibrate in a dark room along with other people. So happy to be back to that and honored to be here. Fantastic, thanks so much for sharing that with us and enjoy your time here in London. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Cheers.